What is up, fellow, fellow gay men? <laughs> DK Oldies is an online retro gaming store that has a lot of people questioning them because their pricing is extremely high. Some of their language and UI and in a way is a bit misleading. And some people are now even calling into question whether they're delivering to their promises. The infamous Xbox 360 video that got released of a guy buying an Xbox 360 that was supposed to be defect free from them and turned out it was defects, turned out wasn't refurbished properly but first off I just want to say something that I feel like no one's really bringing up in this situation and that is in order for an online retro store to exist in the way that DK Oldies does there has to be an upcharge retro games are expensive it is not like regular games where companies can kind of buy them on a markdown and then sell them at a higher price they are buying these games at the same price that you and me are buying them when we go on eBay. So when you're paying that extra money, you're paying for consistency and quality because at the end of the day, a retro gaming online store isn't that sustainable. I mean, in their videos, you see that they have a gigantic box filled with old Pokemon GBA games, which is insane. I mean, each one of those things is probably 50 to $60. So of course they're gonna have to sell them at a markup because they took the risks to buy those games and then they tested them and now they're delivering them to you and then even with some of those games they also refurbished by I'm guessing replacing the battery in them because the older GBA color games have a battery issue I didn't know that when I was a kid so I would just like try and keep my Game Boy on to be Pokemon Gold and I just couldn't it would, it would it would shut off at some point or die or something also you have to take into consideration overhead you know they have to hire employees they have to hire this guy who apparently is their social marketing dude he doesn't even really work for the company as like a real or I almost shouldn't say real but a normal employee which I think they need to hire a new guy this guy is so fucking annoying I literally did not even buy from these people or consider it because I was just so annoyed by this guy I think I just hate it when tech channels just pretend that they're all right let me let me act this scenario out for you oh this is an at 2020 car ride condenser microphone ah this is the broadband adapter that goes down here in this port Game Boy player and a matching one that requires another port down here on the bottom yes yeah, shit like that you know like where they catch something they pretend they know all the specs off the top of their fucking head. It's so annoying. Any business like this has risk attached to it. And you can always just say, oh, I can get that for the same price on eBay. When you're getting on eBay, you don't actually have a brand, a company who's willing to take that risk for you and test the product. So of course there's gonna be a significant overcharge. Let's actually look into this. Wow, Pokemon Sapphire for $140. Pokemon Fire Red for $180. Um, I have both of these games. I've checked into their prices before. They are not worth that much. Um, and, and maybe if you have the original box art, they are. I am assuming they don't have no, they do not have the, the, the fucking box art. So, so the most expensive one I'm seeing is 65. Their price is $140. I understand the overcharge, but charging like a hundred bucks on the most expensive price on eBay is fucking ridiculous. And another thing they've been criticized for is their ridiculously bad trade-in prices. So for example, right here, they will give you $30 for a Nintendo Wii, which they will then resell for $114. Meanwhile, if you go over to Game stop site they will give you $30 for a wireless pro controller that they will then resell for $60. These guys are having worse trade-in values than GameStop. I didn't think that was fucking possible. Trading in consoles with an online store is a bit of a risk for both parties so I can kind of see them not wanting to give a lot of money over that but maybe say like that's the minimum and then if your console's in good condition we can give you more maybe something like that I don't know but another thing I would like to bring to you guys' attention is you know when I was talking about overhead um, online stores have the benefit that they don't have a lot of overhead right um, you don't have infrastructure to pay for except for your like main building your office, whatever what I'm getting at is They don't really have a lot of infrastructure compared to regular Retro gaming stores. They're not paying as much for advertisement because they're getting all this free advertisement basically from YouTube shorts are basically just paying this guy to make the videos so I mean like you know all this extra cost is seemingly just being pocketed which is fine, but that kind of does make it seem a little bit more scammy 
and that does kind of make it seem like they are just upcharging the crap out of this stuff for no other reason than they're just trying to pocket it. Um, not only that, but they're also kind of doing this weird manipulative thing where they're packing in extras and goodies with people who order from them. On top of that, they're including third-party controllers with their consoles, which is sort of stated on their user interface when you go to order, but not in a very clear way that I think uh, more casual people won't catch on to. Even hell, I probably wouldn't even catch on to it. Definitely some shady stuff going on here. So at the end of the day, are they a scam? Well, they do ha always have their stuff on sale which is illegal, you're not allowed to do that, that's a, that's like a federal crime, so, yeah, I don't know, kind of. I think if they were actually delivering on their promises, then this maybe wouldn't be. So, I don't know, that's about all I have to say today. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe, if you know, if you, if you subscribe and you end up not liking the content, um, you can always just piss off, I don't care, stay subscribed. Oh,